In this particular presentation, we will be discussing the Oracle and backing up and restoring of cases within FTK2. For those individuals that may have not reviewed any of our previous webinars or presentations, I suggest that you go out to our website and take a look at those. As we have several uh, different uh, webinars and presentations out there that might be most useful to you, uh, such as the introduction to FTK2 and interface overview, as well as searching and case refinement, uh, several of them. Um, those will uh, help you better understand how to utilize some of the functions and capabilities within FTK2. Setting the stage, so to speak, assuming that you're running the Oracle database, the FTK GUI, and the worker on the same machine, uh, you will be backing up your cases processed for archiving on that particular machine. And that, is, that is the stage that we are going to use for the purpose of this discussion. However, if you're choosing to install the Oracle database on a system separate from that of the FTK2 core applications, that's where you'd have the GUI and the worker installed at. The database may be installed on any version of Windows currently supported by Oracle software. And secondly, if, if you have an existing Oracle infrastructure already in place, uh, you have the ability to leverage that as the FTK2 database back in. It's instead of using the existing uh, one that's provided with the FTK default installation. And for the purpose of this discussion here, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, say hypothetically that we have 100 cases within our, our case window here uh, that we need to go through and, and determine whether or not certain ones are ready for archiving or such. Uh, assuming that you've got certain policies and procedures set in or standard maintenance practices that you may implement within your organizations. Let's say based on those, uh, those policies and procedures that are set in place, you have been notified as the administrator that a particular case needs to be backed up. In this particular scenario, we're going to go ahead and utilize the West Mantooth case, whereas we would uh, basically just go to the case window here, select the case, and we have the option here under case pull down, and we can select the backup option. Or secondary, we have the ability here to right-click on that same case, and we have the ability to then back that case up, which that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We have the option here to select a location in which we want to place that case, and that could be in a very secure area, or it could be on a, a server that you may have designated within your organization where you do store your backup cases. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the option here, backup case. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create the West Mantooth uh, as our backup file here. And it's going to go ahead and save it in this location here, pulling in all the necessary files that would be required to actually build the uh, backup itself, uh, pulling in the appropriate tables, the pointers, and other things. As you can see up here in the top right side here, it has a case path, which is dependent based on the database in which I'm using and where that was drawn from. And that is put into your case information as well. You do also have the, uh, the case information that is utilized for the date and the date accessed and so forth and so on. See that that uh, case has now been uh, backed up. What we're going to go ahead and do is close the dialog box here. Um, we can go out and validate that, that particular case and determine whether or not everything is there that uh, made up that particular uh, case file. I'm going to go ahead and select the location in which I created that on the desktop um, so we can take a view at the folder just so that you can get a visual of what that looked like. Uh, under the case backup here, we have the West Mantooth file in which we created. Let me go ahead and pull this out here and take a gander at what we've got in here. You've got a number of the DBF files, the DMP files, and also the other files that pertain based on this information here. If you look at the ID that is here, that uh, corresponds to the file in which you created uh, and stored within the database itself. Uh, there is a uh, correlation to that there. It does contain a number of other files here, which this entire folder itself will make up the entire case. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and close that out. And I'm going to go up and delete the West Mantooth file here, just for the purpose of this discussion here, showing that it is removed from the case. It'll go ahead and pull that out of the case, clear it from the case. So now you free up uh, some space within your, within your database itself to continue processing that here. Um, one thing that I want to preface on here is, is pertaining to the uh, statement about, about having to have a DBA in order to run and do a lot of these different functions. 
Uh, no, the Oracle DB, uh, an Oracle database administrator is not required. Um, we have taken extensive measures to make sure that uh, supporting the Oracle infrastructure uh, is, is basically non-intrusive in that area, such as you don't have to have a DBA. Uh, nor do we anticipate that there will be uh, a need for users to perform any type of database administration functions other than doing your, your, your typical backups and, and adding users and such in. Uh, we will be providing regular updates on the Oracle database, uh, and that will be most likely via the FTK2 uh, installer or uh, in certain situations we may provide a special utility, a one-off or something in the event uh, security issues may arise or some other problems that are identified within the database itself uh, and to make that an automated process in which you won't require that DBA to help assist in that area. As you can see that file has or that uh, the case has now been deleted from our case list window here. Uh, for the purpose of this discussion we're going to go out to that same location we're going to go ahead and uh, restore that particular case, navigating out to where I have the, the case backup at, selecting the West Mantooth case here. And once I've done that, it will pull in the appropriate structure sets and so forth that were created in that backup previously. And once those database structures and uh, folders and such are created and inserted back into your database here, uh, you will then be able to open up that case once again. As you can see, the pathing information that's up here is corresponding specifically to this this particular case that I am working or the one that I had backed up and restored at this point. Okay, that shows that it is complete. Um, we're going to go ahead and navigate over to the West Mantooth case here. As you can see, now it's within our caseless window showing that we have created that uh, case at this time or inserted it back into the database. Let's go ahead and open that up uh, just for the visual here to show that uh, it is it is complete. Contents is here. Uh, looking at the overview items here uh, showing that it does have a number of evidence items here, some checked items just as we had left it previously uh, as well as uh, showing the categories of the files and structures of those files there. Um, that pretty much takes care of the backup portion of it. Uh, as indicated, you do have the ability to to store these off on a remote location, which is preferable for archiving and preferably a secondary backup. So if you're doing tape backups or something, or possibly on a DVD, you have the ability to back your case up and store it off, uh, which frees up a lot of your space. Uh, as anything, something does get filled up and the Oracle uh, uh, considering it is a, a bit bucket that you're putting your, your case information in, uh, it will eventually fill up over a period of time. So for the, for, the benefit of, for the benefit of making sure that you're doing your standard maintenance and, and trying to prevent yourself from uh, running into any problems, do keep in mind, uh, as the administrator, you want to definitely make sure that you monitor uh, the available disk space and based on also the cases that you are processing, uh, as they can grow uh, and take up a great deal of space based on uh, uh, the larger cases, the larger drives, the terabytes, etc. As well as uh, when you do your indexing, again, that, that builds additional uh, storage space and so forth in your, your database. I hope that helps out uh, with respect to your cases here uh, in doing your backups. Uh, if you have any additional questions, do feel free to give our our technical support department or one of our uh, individuals that are watching the phones, and they can try to answer your questions. Thank you, and you have a great day.